Time now for our Bloomberg Quick Take, where we provide context and background on issues of interest. Slowing down climate change means cars and trucks that pollute less. But how clean is that clean car? Millions of Volkswagen diesel owners were surprised to learn their engines passed U.S. pollution tests by cheating. But that's far from the only thing that can go wrong. Here's the situation. The Paris Climate Change Accord is expected to increase pressure for cleaner vehicles, which produce about a sixth of global carbon emissions and a quarter of the U.S. total. The pact came as the European Union was rethinking the tax incentives that helped diesel claim a market share of over 50 percent there. In the U.S., a federal standard calls for new cars to average 54 and a half miles per gallon by 2025. And much tougher goals have been adopted by California, whose rules are followed by 10 other states. Here's the background. The push for cleaner cars originally had nothing to do with climate change. In the 60s, California's target was air pollution. In the 70s, the goal was to reduce oil imports. And in the 90s, the government invested in clean technology to help Detroit struggling automakers develop a supercar. But the breakthrough vehicle was the Toyota Prius, a gas battery hybrid. Skeptics said they were no cleaner than the fuel burned to generate their power. That meant some clean cars were effectively running on coal. But as the electric grid gets greener, it, it increases the advantage of battery powered cars. Here's the argument. Critics of programs to nurture clean cars say the U.S. supercar and Europe's diesel push show the dangers of governments picking winners among competing technologies. But even proponents acknowledge that Cheaper oil and rising demand for cars in China, India, and other developing nations could swamp the benefit of lowering emissions from cars in the U.S. and Europe.